Hey there, everybody. Happy Wednesday. I thought, I hope that all of you are having a great Wednesday. I am, I'm processing harvesting a magazine this morning. I need a few images because I'm working on two new flow journals and I don't have any magazine images to work with. Uh, because I've been asked so much about storage and why I don't use a lot of stuff, I just thought that I would give you guys my technique for harvesting a magazine, and it's it's really simple, um, and then I'll show you how I store these images. So basically what I do when I harvest a magazine is I harvest by tens. I don't take a whole magazine and go through the whole thing and clip images. That's just not how I work. That gives you a lot of stuff, stuff that you have to, um, that you have to store. And I'm just not a big fan of having a lot of stuff. That is, that's me, y'all. Um, lots of people do great having a lot of stuff. And lots of people take a lot of joy in, have a st in having a lot of stuff around. I don't. I think that it's a whole lot better to, this is me. Everybody has to decide how this works for them. I like fewer choices because I like fast choices. And fast choices are not plunging into storage places and getting lost for an hour trying to find an image. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick technique. Harvesting by tens is the way that I process a magazine. So the things that I'll look for in the magazine are text. I'll get 10 text thingies, 10 focal images, 10 color blocks, 10 words, and 10 pages that I can fold and slip into my flow journal. So we're just going to start here. We're harvesting by tens. Um, I've got the January 2019 issue of National Geographic, and that's what we're going to work with. I, I know that, like, a lot of people... It's a joy, y'all, you know, to, for lots of people, it, it's fun to have a lot of stuff. For me, it's just not. Um, I'm, I'm very, I uh, <laughs> don't know what it is. I, I understand why I'm like this, uh, because I have family members who have hoarding issues. And I understand why I am like I am. So we've got a folded page that worked great. This is, this is a great folded page. It was the cover of this magazine. I have a small focal image here that I'm just clipping out. Sorry, I need my glasses. There we go. I think this is a, uh, a robotic eyeball, which I thought was super cool. So there we go. We've got one focal image. This is, uh, this is a picture of cupping. I believe during the Olympics we saw this used for the first time. I do like this a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and take him out of the book. This also gives me the opportunity to uh, not deplete this magazine all the way, which is kind of fun in itself. <laughs> you know, you, you aren't storing a whole bunch of stuff, so you're just doing 10 images. I really do love this flamingo. So we're going to do him right here. I love the mirror image, but I accidentally cut it right here. So we'll just use the top of it. I did not mean to do that. Okay, so we've got three focal images. I like the word wildlife. So we're going to clip that out as well. I 
like the word legacy. And then I also love this as a color block. I like blocks of color and I'll show you um, in our, um, we'll just do a two part here and then I'll show you what I do with color blocks. There we go, one of those. I like the word legacy. You know, I used to build word banks, and if you guys had been with me for a while, you remember how, uh, you know, we would, we would do our start box, and we would have word banks in our start box, which was fine, but it's not how I do things anymore. Um, okay. Things pushed out of the way here. Um, I like this color block here as well. I like that. Um, that's a very soothing color of blue to me. So we'll use that as a color block. This guy's really interesting. This is an article about how people from around the world empty their medicine cabinets to reveal the cures that they keep. I just think it's very, this is a guy from Italy. Um, and this is what's in his medicine cabinet, which is really incredibly interesting, you know, when you think about it. I do like him. I think he looks quite Italian. But then I realized that these images would make super nice pages you know just folded pages they're very strong images okay so we're going to fold this and this these will make excellent folded pages here in books. They're all kind of the same. Now this is interesting. These are people who live in Haiti and this is how they combat illness compared to this woman in Latvia. Um, these are the, the pills that she takes. It's really interesting. Um, okay, so we're going to cut these. And then we're going to count and see how many because I feel like we we do I do also really like to cut off the white edges which sometimes I, I'm not going to cut off all the white edges y'all because it takes a little while and I have about 10 minutes to to do this video before I need to um, do something else so we're going to fold this all right, now let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five. I've got five pages. Mm, these are just too rich. Too rich to not use. So I've got six, seven, Eight, nine. I just need one more. I love this whole thing right here. We age, we blend, we age again. I mean, if you <laughs> just really think about that, it's like, uh, yeah, we kind of do. We age, we blend, we age again, even though this is a doer's liquor ad. It's very interesting, so I'm going to use that as a focal image. Okay, we're going to use one more of these. This is... Um, about a photographer who became a doctor. It's very interesting. 
Okay, so we've got our focal images done. So we can stack those together. I use a, a, a plastic, um, this is a sandwich meat container. I always, uh, these, the sandwich meat comes in a plastic bag. I take the plastic bag out and so no, nothing touches this. So there we go, we've got that done. So we can mark that off our list. And we've got our 10 folded pages done. Awesome. So let's, I love the word better. I love the word outcome and I see that over there as well. I, I like the the question mark at the end of better. This is interesting as well. I think that would make a nice focal image. The word expedition is always very interesting. There we go, we've got another color block right there. I love this guy, so I'm gonna cut him out as a focal image. So one, two, three, four, five. We're at five for our focal images. Love this. Oh, yeah, that would make a great focal image. Um, I'm going to leave this as is because this might go on a bigger piece of art. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven focal images. I'm going to put this stack over here, y'all, and then I'll show it to you. I hope that you guys find this handy or <laughs> helpful. Um, love the word connected. We're going to use that. But you can see what's happening here. I, I haven't even like gotten, I don't think I've gotten 10 pages into the magazine. And already I have almost, you know, I'm making, I'm making good progress on my list up here. Um, this is a color block. And I think I'm looking at four of those right now. You know, we're just moving this out of the way. I love watch imagery. And it's highly likely that I will not use that whole thing right there, but I will use this. So one, let's count what we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I just need a couple more, a couple more, um, mm, kind of like that as a color block too. So I'm going to cut that out as well. I think you can usually, you know, find National Geographic. I, I'm very lucky. My friends, um, my friends save it for me. I'm just, I'm so lucky. Um, they subscribe and save it for me. But yeah, you can find them at thrift stores and things like that. Uh, I like that as a focal image, and we just needed two more focal images. So I think those will be great. So my focal images I've got right here. Now except for this big one right here, and I'm going to pull that out and just put it to the side. I'm going to use a paper clip and clip these together. And these are the focal images that I will use in my next flow journal. So there we go. And let's get our box back out and stick those in. We are done with the focal images.
All right, so there we go. We've finished 10 folded pages. We've finished our focal images. Uh, we're looking for text. We have one, two, three, four, five. We've got six words, so we need a few more of those. Let's see if we see anything interesting. Don't clip anything else out. <laughs> you know, once you check your list, that's it. You're going to leave everything else in place. Um, this is a great color block right here. I like that. Every body is unique. This is an excellent color block. I think I'll, um, with this one, I'm going to make a couple. I'm going to fold them like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, look at that. Cool, A. Eh? This is an article about cancer killers. Nine. These two. This whole thing is a great color block. And ten. Okay, so we are finished with what I call color blocks. They are swatches of color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's get our. Paper clips out. We're going to paper clip that, put it in our box, and we are finished with the top with the color blocks. Um, I do need to don't cut it out. I know it's pretty. <laughs> You'll do it next time. Don't worry. You know, your magazine will be here. Don't worry. Don't worry. Look at that baby. It's so cute. So we are looking now for want a few more words. Let's see what we see. This this whole magazine was really great, you guys. Um, okay, I need some text. All right, so we see that we have, I'm just gonna take out this text page. And I'm looking for whole pages of text. got one, two, three pages of text. Because these pages are big, I'm going to count that as 10 text elements. And then I'll show you what we do with text elements. Let's get out our paper clip. And there we go. And we're done with that. I wish that I could have found like different kinds of text, but that was pretty much, you know, it. Uh, I do need the rest of my words. Let's see what we have here. We have wildlife, we have legacy, we have future, we have better, we have expeditions, we have connected. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I do need I need four more. Oh, 
I love the Emperor's Medicine Chest. Isn't that cool? I need four more words. Let's see what we can find. Word exquisite. So we've got seven. And I think I'm done with that. Exploration, I like that. The word exploration is like expedition. Oh, and I love the phrase because of you. Yeah, that's nice. I think we'll do happens and because of you. There we go. All right, we have finished harvesting this magazine. These are our words that we have. Remember, this is harvesting by 10. Um, 10 text elements. Uh, 10 focal images, 10 color blocks, 10 words, 10 folded pages. We are done. This is what your harvested text storage looks like. This is your remnants. So the remnants of the magazine you'll just keep. And then the next time you want to, you need some images, then you'll just harvest by tens and maybe use this magazine again. I saw a lot of things that I want to use next time. So there you go, guys. Just kind of an easy way to, like I said, everybody has to decide about storage, about how they use the elements that they harvest from magazines, uh, you know, you have to decide what you're going to buy, what you're going to harvest, what you're going to reuse, what you're going to recycle. This is just my take on it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and that you'll try harvesting by tens. Take care, y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye.